hey there welcome to my channel my name is Kristen and today I'm gonna show you how I did this Virgo nail art I went ahead and pre-prepped my red iguana practice hand and the first color that I'm gonna use is peaky nude by not polish and with that color I'm gonna go ahead and do an extended nail bed for my extended nail beds I like to place my first bead right at the edge of the natural nail and then just go ahead and tap it and pat it into the shape I want this one I decided to go ahead and do a more rounded extended nail bed on so I get it as close to perfect as I can or want to but I don't stress too much because I am gonna go in with a hand file and refine that shape for this set I am using the universal tips by not polish and the brush that I'm using is a number eight by glitter bells For my second bead, I'm just going to place it fairly close to the cuticle, press it up toward the cuticle, and then blend it into that first bead. On this video, I'm only going to show two of the nails for the extended nail beds and the capping process. Just to keep the video down a little bit in time, those are the most time consuming portions. So I figured I'd just show you two nails and then move on to the next step. I am going to go ahead and refine those extended nail beds off camera and when I come back they'll all be ready to go. The next color I'm going to use is also by Not Polish. It is called Royalty M119 and I'm also going to be using one of their new OMG glitters called Sparks Fly. So what I'm going to do is go lay a very light, almost jelly-like, it's a little bit even almost translucent how I'm going to lay it initially with the darker blue, the royalty, and then I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of that sparks fly over it and work it down those sides. And then I will go back in over each one and just darken up the blue in areas. So the reason why I chose to go blue with this Virgo set is because it is September's birthstone and I am a Virgo and my birthday is in September. So I decided to go ahead and just use my birthstone and have it be a Virgo because this is a set I would want if I was able to get nails and this would be my birthday set. Ni tus besos y tus chistes al azar Quiero ser tu amor, tu amor a tu vida Contigo yo me siento en control Quiero ser tu amor, tu amor a tu vida Besándonos a la puesta del sol Me conoces súper, súper bien
Once I'm happy with how they all look, I'm going to go ahead and use Not Polishes Clear to go ahead and cap all of the nails. And what I like to do is take my first bead and place it right at the end of that extended nail bed and brush it backwards first and then work it down the length of the nail. And then I will just go ahead and place more beads as needed to even out the acrylic. I am just placing it over the blue area and taking it over that extended nail bed by just a little bit. Once I have all the nails capped, I am going to go ahead and file and buff off camera. As I've said in the past, it's just a lot easier for me on the practice hand to file and buff off camera. I do have several videos where I actually have filmed my file out process, so check those out if you are interested. So now I have filed them out and buffed them really nice. And then I also went ahead and laid a very light layer of matte it by Not Polish. That helps fill in any little scratches or anything that could be left from your hand file, and it'll make your gel paints lay a lot nicer. So the gel paint that I am using is by Profiles Backstage. I do have a discount code with them. I'll pop that up on the screen for you in case you're interested in getting anything from them. You know, it helps to save a little bit of money. And this one is the frosting gel paint in the color black. Full disclosure, I was scared to death to do the old English letters. I have never done them before. I've been dying to. So basically I just went on my phone, had it next to me, and I pulled up one that I liked. I didn't want it too fancy with all the lines in it so that you couldn't really see what it was. You had to take a minute to decipher. So I picked one that was fairly easy to read and I just kind of eyeballed it and copied it and did the best I could. And if you notice, I was being fairly brave here. I think because I was going the opposite way and not having my hand over what I'd already drawn. I am not flash curing in between and that was very very brave of me. I am a person who needs to flash cure because I love to mess up my art. I will go ahead and link all of the products that I used in the video in the description box along with any discount codes I have and a link to my Amazon storefront if you'd like to check that out.
vez sentía que era eterno Tus besos fríos como el invierno Lo sé Pero tal vez estás con otro que no te quieres Pero yo te quisiera más que mil mujeres Y no hay que doler para nada Y cerrar esta herida Y se siente vivir cuando no estás Si dejáramos el pasado y esos besos Pero los dos nos amaríamos como antes Es que no es la realidad, pero si fuera verdad Creo que me parará todo ese dolor Pero no me llevará a donde yo quiera estar Sin una imaginación a tu alrededor El cielo está anulado y solo hoy Porque el sol me dijo, baby, ya me voy Es duro que tú me trates como estoy Yo por nadie cambiaría lo que soy El cielo está anulado y solo hoy el sol me dijo, baby, ya me voy Es duro que tú me trates como tú Y dejas cicatrices Tiene que no le pasa nada I had flash cured the Virgo earlier, so you're going to see me go ahead and flash cure the Virgo sign real quick right now. And then I will go ahead and cure them all for 60 seconds in the big lamp with black. I want to make sure that it is extremely cured because I smeared my one other set. If you have seen it, you saw what I did. Um, so I want to make sure that I don't have a reoccurrence of that. So I did decide to go with some stars, solar flares, and moons for this set, keeping it very celestial. So you will see here that my pinky all of a sudden will have the silver on it and what I had done I just did one because I wanted to see how much that silver would mat down and I wanted it shinier so I am just going to go ahead and matte them all with not polish matte it before I put the silver on because I want the silver to stay shinier. So 
I will go back over the silver that I did on the pinky just to shine it up but as you can see it's a little dull and I wanted it I wanted something on there to pop I'm The silver that I'm going to use is the Frosting Gel Paints by Profiles Backstage and it is one of my favorite. It is an absolutely gorgeous color. I've gotten to use it a couple times and it's just so pretty. Ser el hombre de tu vida, tener niños y estar en un altar. Tu belleza solo no se me olvida, ni tus besos y tus chistes al azar. Quiero ser tu amor. Conoces super super bien, tú me viste y te subiste al tren. Todo vale contigo hasta nuestros amigos se enamoran de la forma que nos ven. Enamorados somos dos. A mí te lo digo, tú eres mi abrigo cuando va el sol. Con tu amor, esas nubes grises se vuelven color. Yo con tanto frío tú me das calor. After I get the silver down, I'm going to go over top of all my silver with a little bit of Gloss It by Not Polish. I didn't show you that. I just take my little liner brush and go straight over it again. But here is the final product. I hope you love this set as much as I do. Happy birthday to all my fellow Virgos. I hope you have a wonderful one. And if you could, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Que sé, es que sin...